Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. When you're burned, you've got nothing. No cash, no credit, no job history. You're stuck in whatever city they decide to dump you in. Miami. You do whatever work comes your way. You rely on anyone who's still talking to you. A trigger-happy ex-girlfriend. You shoot them. An old friend who used to inform on you to the FBI. You know, spies. Bunch of bitchy little girls. Family, too. Hey, is that your mom again? If you're desperate. Someone needs your help, Michael. Bottom line, until you figure out who burned you, you're not going anywhere. Previously on Burn Notice. Why go back to work for the people who put you through all this? I want to clear my name. I want to know who did this to me. You think I burned you? I know you did. You're on the edge of something much, much bigger than us, my friend. People I work for, they have plans for you. Nate, I need you to pick me up. C and Sam are on a job dealing with some heroin dealers. Oh. Out of the car! They took Sam. Yeah, that's pretty painful. How was that for you? <laughs> Uh, Mike, it's for you. Yellow. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Nate, I'm gonna pull over and get out. You said they were following us. Yeah, they want me. When I get out, you go. You don't stop for anything, you got it? I have a job to do. I need 12 hours. If you even come near me before that, I will put a bullet in my head. I believe we have a deal. At least this time we get to say goodbye. Thank you. Time to get some questions answered. Burn notice, huh? We need to talk, Michael. We've been trying to bring you in. We're still looking forward to meeting you. As a spy, you get to spend a lot of time alone. Whether you're in an Indonesian prison, a cave in the Afghan mountains, or the back of a cargo truck, it comes with the job. You're trained to make the most of it, plan your next move, go over your intel, review your training. But when you've cleaned your gun 30 times, and reviewed the past tense of every verb in five languages, you start itching to make a move. quite a party out there. Indeed we are. You had a guest of honor. No need for that, Michael. The shooting's all over. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can see me? Oh, I wish I could see you. I thought we were going to meet. Well, first in business. Yeah, sweetie, I thought we were going to discuss why you burned me. We've had our eye on you for a while, Michael. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. Why don't you call me Carla? Go over to the car. We have something we want you to take care of for us. A job? Don't call it a job. Call it a favor. I assume it has to do with the guy you've got gift wrapped and duct taped? His name is Jimmy. He's someone else we asked for a favor. You see, he decided to skip town instead. Oh, so this is your employee retention program. You could call it that. He needs to go back to Miami and do as he's told. 
You need to help him. I do? And why is that? We have his wife and daughter. If you don't help, what happens to them? Oh, one more thing. Jimmy called 911 and he's our team. You probably want to move along. I do this, and then we meet. I keep my promises. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> are great for surviving crashes, but they make some evasive maneuvers tough. Gone are the days when you could run through a stand of trees without a face full of nylon. Of course, anything you used to do head-on, you can still do. But it's a little hard on anyone who's stuffed in your truck. Security measures can sometimes seem a little cruel. Just like parents sometimes twist their kid's arm, yanking them out of a busy street, sometimes the safest thing isn't the most comfortable. Sorry about the trunk, but I had to keep you out of sight for a few counties until we got clear of the police. Jimmy, what are you doing? You don't have time for this. I'm here to help you. Now, the people who did this are putting the screws to me, too. I don't want to be here any more than you do. Now, do you want your family back? I'm going to work on that. Can you be good? We have a long drive back to Miami. If you can be good, you get to ride up front. Months ago, I got a call from this lady. Smoky voice, lots of attitude. Wait a minute, you know her? Not as well as I'd like. Anyway, she wanted me to break into this place where I did a job. A job? What is it you do, Jimmy? Okay, look, I'm I'm, I'm in computer systems. Okay, I I did a, a gig about a year ago for this company called Security Associates. Security Associates is that private military? Yeah, sure, something like that. I don't know. Okay, they were they were corporate guys, and, and, and but they, but really scary. And the lady on the phone, she told me to break into there, okay, and get a memory dump off their hard drive and and get it back to her. What did you say? I said she was freaking insane. I'm I'm a computer tech man. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a break-in guy. So I was like, no way. And this led to you being hogtied on an airstrip? The lady on the phone threatened my family, so we decided to bail. We hired this guy with a private plane, and then we went upstate, and we were about to leave, and these guys with guns, they came out of this helicopter, and then they just... They took my wife and my kid. Please, I don't even know who you are, but... You gotta help me. We'll figure something out. Oh, whoa, Mike, easy. Just me and a couple of slices of Wonder Bread. Hey, you okay? I gotta say, I didn't expect you back. Yeah, I didn't expect to be back either. Making yourself comfortable, I say. Uh, comfortable? I wouldn't go that far. Mike, how do you fit in these little shirts? They're like doll clothes. Anyway, after you got me out of the boat, I didn't want to scare Veronica, you know, with all this, so I thought I'd 
Lay low at your place for a while. Well, wait a minute. What happened with the big meeting? It didn't go as well as I'd hoped. It seems the people who burn me want me for a job. For now, that's all I got. A job? Does it pay? More of a, we'll kill you if you don't do it type of thing. Ah, never liked those. So what is it? Help some computer tech steal some data. I figure if I find out what they want stolen, I might get an idea of who they are. The, uh, the guys outside in the, uh, in the caddy. The caddy, you brought back the caddy. Oh, Mike, that's great. I was afraid to ask, you know, because Veronica, she was, she was getting on my case and I... Yeah, about that. It's gonna need a little work. So we're safe here? Uh, safe would be a stretch, but let's just say if we could do worse. Okay, well, I need my phone because I have uh, to no, call... No, Jimmy, you don't need your phone. You called 911 on a double homicide. The police are now tracking it. You just need to go on in and clean yourself up. Go ahead. Hey, Fee. I can't believe you, Michael. 48 hours ago, we said goodbye, possibly forever. And then I get a message from you on my cell that I should come right over because you got a job. Dee, there's a lot going on, so... You can't start with I'm alive. I thought the fact that I was calling covered that. That's not the point. Dee, I called you because I need your help. Uh, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. I told you not to make calls on that phone. Well, I know that, but I'm stuck in a motel in Fort Lauderdale, and I've been worried sick. And the phone's being bugged by those spy people. I guess now they know it, too. I'm worried about my son. Besides, calls from a motel phone cost a dollar. Oh, that's terrible. So when can I start making calls again? And just come on home. You can make all the calls you want. What about those men with the guns? Yeah, more or less. I'm so glad. I'm glad to, Mom. Bye, Michael. You hadn't called your mom yet? I was going to wait a bit. This woman on the phone, did you ever see her in person? Did she give you a name, anything? Well, I told you I never met her. I mean, she said her name was Carla, that was it. Besides that, it was just, you know, go steal the stuff for us or else. Okay, so what is this data? What's on these computers that they want so bad? I don't know. I mean, they don't pay me to look at the files. They pay me to keep people from stealing them. Why do they even need us? I mean, if they're blowing up a plane, they've got guys. The people behind this. They don't want to get their hands dirty, so they get others to do their work for them. Like making us break into security associates. I checked that place out. The guy who runs it is Ryder Stahl. The guy's been in all the hot spots, usually has corporate clients who want some heavy firepower. Basically, any place where more guns equal more money, maybe. Yeah, that's the guy, yeah. I'm going to need you to make an introduction. Talk to Ryder? Face to face? No, 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 no. Private security companies don't have a lot of walk-in business, Jimmy, so we're going to need an introduction, and you're the best we've got. If I'm going to do this, I need to look at their security setup. It'll be fine. Sam and Fee will back us up if anything goes wrong, right? Uh, yeah, right, right. We got you covered. Absolutely no problem. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Calm down, you'll be fine. Right. We just go over it one more time? Sure. We go in, you introduce me, you leave.
private military companies are best known for their bodyguard work. It's a big part of their business, but it's not the only part. For a big enough check, they'll rain hot lead down wherever you want. It's not work that attracts service with a smile type. Kenny? Hi. Thanks for, um, this is the guy that I told you about. You wanted to talk to me? Terry Miller. Heard a lot of great things about your operation. Writer Stahl, Jimmy here tells me you're mining. On oh, board, Jimmy, yeah? He says that you are the folks to look for when we need a mercenary. We're security consultants, not mercenaries. Right. I, I think what he meant was the Boy, I can speak for myself, mate. Piss off then. We got business. Okay. You call yourself what you like. I've got serious business to be handled. Now, can we go upstairs and talk in private? I've got mining interest up around the northern border of Kenya. Locals are my problem. I need them dealt with. <clears throat> dealt with? What does that mean? You know what it means. Enough with the word games. I'm willing to pay good money for a permanent solution to my problem. Mr. Miller, you just solicited an illegal act, and my security tells me you've got a backup team sitting on the roof of the parking garage across the street. Are you a cop? Is this a joke? Not a joke. Two-person team watching. We do regular security sweeps. I don't know who these blokes are, but they're not backup. I've got an operation that looks to prove out in the low arm figures. I've got an enemy's mate. So they're not yours? Not mine. I guess we'll just have to find out. Take him out the back. You're being too hard on Mike. You know, he damn near got himself killed saving me. Yeah, and I damn near got myself killed saving the both of you. And then he comes back and acts like nothing happened. I'm just saying. I can count on one hand the number of buddies I got who would stage an armed assault to save my butt, okay? You got Mike. You got... When you're claiming to be someone you're not, the key is commitment. You've got to sell it like your life depends on it. Because sometimes it does. The point is, Mike is the kind of guy who's got your back. Gun! One reason to work with the same people is you know each other's moves. So if you shoot at your team in the middle of an operation, they know to go with it. What the hell is he doing? I think we just got recruited into my discovery. Get down, get down! It takes a good marksman to shoot you at 50 feet from a moving car, but it takes a great marksman to miss. While making it look like they're trying to hit you. Or markswoman, as the case may be. So you're saying that that went well? He doesn't think I'm a cop anymore. It's true. I got him backstop with a job history, bank accounts. He even got a British mining company to hire him as a contractor retroactively. Point is, Ryder's boy's been calling around, checking him out. Now we just go back to him, sell him on the deal, and check out his security layout. Listen, even if we pull this thing off, I'm the only guy that can get that data, and they know that. Okay? If we do this, I'm a dead man. Never let that happen, Jim. One problem at a time. That's easy for you to say. Yo, Jimbo. What? Come on, let's go upstairs. Set you up with a beer, maybe a yogurt. Got this great card game we used to play with back in the SEAL teams when we were feeling crappy. I'll teach you. You're going to love it. Yeah, Ma, you're back in town. Michael, you have to come over here now. It's a disaster. On my way. <laughs> What are you doing? Put the shotgun down. Well, what am I supposed to do? There are men in suits with guns out there after me. They're after me. Well, you're here, so maybe I should have a shotgun. 
What's the disaster? It's the coffee maker. Let me rush out of here at such short notice. The damn thing burned out. It blew a fuse in the kitchen and it spoiled the fridge full of food. This is the disaster? A coffee maker built in 1967? And the food? I've been cleaning for hours. Oh, I found your phone in the glove compartment of the charger. My phone in the charger? Oh, I assumed it was one of yours. You go through those things like toothpicks. Car's in the garage. Excuse me a sec, Mom. Hello there, Michael. Good to hear from you. Glad I could brighten your day. Looks like you owe my mom a new coffee maker. Care to tell me why you're breaking into her house? Just letting you know we can. I'd like to remind you that there's a clock on this operation of ours. I want you to speak to someone. Daddy? No, it's not your daddy. I'm a friend of your dad's. Can I talk to him? He's not here right now, but he wants me to tell you that he misses you. I don't like it here. When is he coming? Can you tell me where you are? No, she can't. Leave her alone. You're not really gonna hurt a little girl. Maybe, maybe not. If I get what I want, you don't need to find out. I said you weren't in, so I waited. You can let a boss come in here. It seems to me, if anyone should be upset, mate, it's me. I'm the one who got shot at. I'm the one who needs a job done. If you're not interested, I'll leave Miami. If you are interested, we talk now. Come on. Let's try it again. Every thief knows that the best way to scout a place you want to rob is as a customer who gets to see the vault at the local bank, the rich guy with something to protect, who gets to see the security at a private military company, a guy who wants to start his own little war. There's unoxidized Kimberla in this region here. It's called Blue Ground. It means diamonds. My problem is the village. We can handle the problem area. Eliminate the civilians and burn it. You never know it was there. Let's get to the details on the deal. Not so fast, mate. There's a hundred mil US. People kill for this deal, not just those people from the other day. I need to know my information is secure. Building security is 24-7. We have biometric security in all the key areas, key card access throughout the building. A great way to get people talking about their security is to put them on the defensive. Accuse a guy of having bad locks, and before you know it, he's telling you where his motion detectors are. Right, that's a nice toy. But what about this door? Olo call veneer. You can cut through that with a handsaw. It may be, but what do you do then? The door's alarmed. Building security's here in under a minute, at least under five. And here, and the computer is kept in a sealed room with a burn vault. Someone breaks in, melts the drives to slag. It takes some practice. But counting your steps can be extremely useful if you need to reproduce a floor plan from memory. Not bad, could be better. Or come back Tuesday, we'll talk terms. Once you've memorized a floor plan, you want to get it down on paper as quickly as you can. Combine that with the technical specs of the security devices in the room, and you'll know where the holes in the security are. Then it's just a matter of slipping through one of those holes. That is a terrible two. So let's do the math. How many twos in a day? Four. Right. So those are your cards you can play. Twos or fours. Or two plus four is what? 
So six, you can play an eight. Two times four is what? Eight, you can play a four, an eight, a two. Sam, uh, I appreciate you trying to distract him, but could you take it outside? Sure. Come on, Jimbo. Go out on the balcony, get some fresh air so you can concentrate. Figuring out a time when we can have our conversation. See, I'm planning a heist. Um, can, can you just, I mean, I, I gotta do the job. First. So what can I do for the job? I need you to get us into Isogene Labs. It's a DNA testing facility, one floor above security associates. I need to get in there for an hour at night alone, and we're going to be making a lot of noise. You have a high estimation of my skills, Michael. You've earned every bit of it. <laughs> So once I'm in, how do I get the data? Well, it's complicated. You have to, um, Brett. I have to come with you. Jimmy, uh, I don't think this is your kind of operation. I know. None of this is. But those computers and hard drives are completely secure, okay? And I made them that way. So to steal the data, we have to tap into the hard wiring in the wall. And we'll only have one chance to do that. Well, it's gonna be dangerous. Doesn't matter. This is for my wife and my daughter. Get me in, and I'll get the data. Hold on a sec. What's the matter? Oh, bum knee. I gotta, you know, stretch it once. <laughs> done surveillance, that is, surveillance you notice, can mean a lot of things. Some organizations need intelligence but can't afford to pay for training. Okay, okay. Some organizations just want you to know they're watching. Who are you? Who sent you? I don't know. I answered an ad. Hundred bucks to watch and take notes. Some woman. She give you anything? Yeah. She told me not to open this. I was wondering when you'd call. Oh, that was some operative you sent. Yeah, we head in tonight. Is that soon enough? That would be fine, thank you. Now, I need something from you. What is that? The guns your guys used to kill those men at the airstrip. You have them? They could probably be located. Whatever for. I want them. If I'm going to work for you, I want tactical support. I confess, I'm curious. Fine, you'll have your guns. And Jimmy's family. I will give you a date and location. You will deliver them when and where I say. Of course, Michael. We want this to be a good experience for everyone. I am so sorry. We called as soon as we realized the problem. Apparently, the engineer missed the defect in the architectural plans. We're dealing with all the floors. We'd start with security associates below you. But you're up first, because you got all the heavy equipment. Well, lucky us. I'm just glad you guys caught it before someone fell through the floor. <laughs> Getting into a secure facility is as simple as giving yourself a good reason to be there. Here we are. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's so stiff. <laughs> I'll pull it out. Right here. Right here. 
Our guys will need a few hours, the defects in the beam, so they'll be cutting. We just need you to notify the building and let the workers in, and next morning it'll be like we were never here, and I'll be out of your hair. Hey, you come back anytime you like. I'll be by tonight. Please don't forget to call building security, or I will get into so much trouble. We can't have that. I'll call now. Tell me you were coming, yes. We're gonna be in the back lab over here. We're gonna be making some noise. Should only take a couple of hours. There's some BS about the chemicals we use. Uh, you can come back, but it's gotta be on your insurance. I'm, uh, I'm fine here, thanks. The typical floor is concrete slab over 20 gauge steel pan with steel trusses spaced 30 inches for support. When you cut through a floor, the thing you have to worry about is wiring. Cut into the wrong wire and you'll set off the building alarms, electrocute yourself, or both. If you don't want a chunk of concrete crashing through to the floor below, you need to drill a hole and anchor the slab. Concrete saw cuts it like butter. planning right, you'll be dropping into a blind spot for the security system, usually behind an interior wall. Motion detectors bounce sound off objects and analyze the reflection. If something changes, the alarm goes off. Move slow enough and a wool comforter absorbs enough sound to keep it from triggering. A thermal blanket, meanwhile, shields your body from heat sensors. How do you think he's doing in there? It's Michael. So look, uh, feet. I gotta go back to Veronica. Explain where I've been. Why I'm all beat to hell and what happened to the caddy. I pay to watch that. Oh, come on. V, you're a girl. What do I say? I'm your girl consultant now? When did I sign up for that job? Okay, fine, forget it. You know, I got lots of other friends with ovaries. I got you. Tell her you got beaten up defending a helpless man from a gang of ex low life soldiers. It's true enough. Okay, so I'm the hero. And the helpless man. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody's working late. Better let Mike know. Evening, Mr. Stahl. Hey, Stevie, thanks for the call. What's going on? It's uh, probably nothing, but you said you wanted us to call you any time if something unusual was going on in the building. How long? I don't know. It's supposed to be backing up now. The data runs along the cable of the backup drives. Well, what's the problem? Because we don't have time. I know. I, I set the backup for 11.30. I, I'm not sure. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yes. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that's not Give good. Give him a minute. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. What, uh, what do we do? Plan B. Plan B.
Quadrangle buckshot is a specialized round designed to destroy the inside of anything delicate. A computer, for example. Take the rope and tie it off. We're going out the window? Unless you want to wait around. For hardened security blocks, I prefer Frag 12, a military round with an explosive projectile. I sprained my body. Hey, you want another beer? I'm telling you, it did wonders for my ribs. You're fine. I just want my family back. We're working on it. Yeah, how? Those guys at Security Associates, they're going to kill me as soon as they get a chance. Exactly, and that makes them predictable, and that's how we're going to solve your problem. Sam, can you get me a boat, something disposable? Disposable? Oh, I see where you're going. I know a guy, yeah. It's a decent boat, once upon a time. It's got mold, but doesn't sound like it's going to be around long enough to bother us. I don't, how is this going to solve my problem? These guys from Security Associates want to kill you. We need to give them the opportunity to do just that. Mm -hmm. Trust me. The heat that's on you, everyone thinking that you're dead, it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Yes, eh? Michael, I got a delivery today. Someone was kind enough to break into the trunk of my car. Yeah, what was it? A present from your friends. Be careful with those, Faye. They're very hot. Oh, I'll take good care of them. Michael, your mother keeps calling me. These last few days have been a lot for her to handle. I know the feeling. Go see her, Michael. I gotta go visit my mom. Sam, get on that boat. Aye, aye, Skipper. You might want to slow down, Mom. How, Michael? You tell me. I'm not sleeping. This business with the coffee maker. This is about a coffee maker? It isn't just that. Your brother's still up in Fort Lauderdale, you know. I mean, he believes it's not safe here. Uh, Nate has disappeared for years before, Mom. He's been in Fort Lauderdale for a few days. What about me, Michael? All these years. And finally, I see what you do. You tell me I have to leave town at, at a minute's notice. I can't talk on the phone. We're being chased by men with guns. How am I supposed to deal with this? All these years, you wondered why I didn't come home, why I didn't call. This is why, Mom. I never wanted this for you. I'm sorry. Well, it still doesn't explain why you didn't write. Just enough for the boat, Fig. Try not to break all the windows in South Beach. Jimmy. Huh? Sure. Call Ryder. Are you sure? I mean, you, you said the cops would be listening on his phone, so I... I... And that's, that's the point. We, we talked about this and we practiced it, so okay. we could do that now. Okay. Security Associates. Uh... 
I, I need I need to speak to Ryder. Tell, tell him that it's Jimmy. Hold me. It's a hell of a job in my office, kid. You really think you're gonna get away with this, huh? You have any idea who you just took on? Please just listen, okay? It was it was the the guy, the one the the, the one that I introduced you to. Look, I, I want to make this right, okay? If, if, we, if we can just meet, then I, I can explain everything. I don't need explanations, Jimmy. I need my data back. I, 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 I want to give it back to you. That's good. Just tell me where you are. Once the cops pick up a call on a flagged cell, they triangulate its location. From there, they organize and deploy units a process that can take 10 minutes, give or take. Bad guys don't have that chain of command. They can be anywhere as fast as their wheels can take them. Get in position, stay out of sight, go down the boat. What do we do if he comes out? Who wants to pop him? Nah, I need to figure out the hell's going on first. Then you pop him. Get going. Jimmy, you want to talk? We do it face to face. Are you coming out or I come down to the boat? How do I know you're not armed? Well, I don't want to shoot you, Jimmy. just want to get my data back. Hold him off. Tell him to prove he's unarmed. I don't believe you. Okay, show me. Show me that you don't have a gun. What do you want me to do? Here, here. See? Unarmed. I, I don't believe you. Jimmy, I'm not messing around. You're coming down. No, wait. Okay, just wait a second. Wait. He's going to figure this out. How much longer do I have to do this? If he finds out you're not on that boat before the ATF gets here, he will track you down. He will go after you and your family for the rest of your life. Now, you will do this now. Do it. Stay back. You don't want your dad all over the internet, do you? I don't take another step. All right. All right. Take off your clothes, the jacket and the pants, and then you can come. I'm not taking my pants off. I'm not messing around. Neither am I. Jimmy. Want to see my gun? Here it is. Now, I know what I'm going to do to you. You don't come out right now? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me what you're going to do. Set up. Put him in the truck. It's going to be hard for them to explain why they have guns linked to a double homicide. Still probably best to make sure no one ever knows you're alive. And my family? Sam has a friend who's going to take you on a boat to Haiti tonight. Should be fine. Coast Guard doesn't pay much attention to boats going to Haiti. From there, you'll fly to Argentina and meet your family at the airport. You really think they'll be there? Well, Carla needs me for other things. If she doesn't keep her promises to you, she loses me as an asset. Man, I, 
I don't know how to thank you. Do you want my car? I mean, it's at my work. I don't really need it anymore. It's a Saab. Convertible. Yeah. Love convertibles. Wow. Okay. There you go. Wow. I gotta leave the country and you're stuck working for them. I don't know who has it better. You do, Jimmy. Believe me. You do. In intelligence gathering, too little information is obviously a problem, but too much information is just as bad in some ways. Sorry, I'm your files. Every object's pretty nasty. The question is, why does she want this stuff? No clue, but it's a start. Time to talk. I... I lost you the other day. I came back for you. When you left, Michael, you had a choice to make and you made it. I always thought maybe when it came down to it, that but you didn't. What are you saying, Faye? No, I'll always care about you, Michael. And I'll still help you with your thing, and you'll still help me with mine. I know. I said that for a long time. Yes, you yeah. have. When you work as a spy, it's easy to think of people as assets, resources to accomplish a goal. Because you don't have a personal relationship with an asset. You don't care about an asset. You don't miss the scent of an asset when she leaves the room. I think four crosses beats. <laughs> that looks like a tough one. A little. Let me get you through it. Hmm. Well, if you need any help, I'm right over there. I was just leaving, actually. Next time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm patching things up with Veronica, because if I wasn't, that's a real firecracker there. But hey, what about you? You're a free man now that uh, you and Fee are... Well, you know. We weren't together, Sam. Okay. Hmm. How'd it go with Jimmy? Great. He gave a call. He's with his family. He's safe. Looks happy enough. Hold on a sec. or you'll kill me. See, now you're catching on. Yeah, just one thing. You said we'd meet. You promised, I believe. But we did meet, Michael. Tell Sam thanks for the help with the crossword. Oh. Well, Mike, what's up? 